Now this feast day is something that we call a holy day of obligation. So what does that mean? Basically, a holy day of obligation is a day when all Catholics are required to attend mass and also to rest, their days of rest and worship. Now, the most obvious example of a day of obligation is every single Sunday. However, there are actually 10 other official holy days of obligation in the Catholic Church, and they're listed in the description below. Each of these 10 feast days celebrates one of the key tenets or figures of our Catholic faith. Now, the church has allowed that individual regions can, at the discretion of the bishops, choose to suppress or move some of those 10 holy days of obligation to the nearest Sunday to make it easier for people to actually fulfill the obligation. So it's worth checking out in your own area which of those 10 days might still be celebrated on a day that isn't a Sunday. Now, if you didn't know about holy days of obligation and you're freaking out because you didn't go to mass, don't worry. Remember that you need to have full knowledge and full consent to be culpable for doing something wrong. However, it's a great idea to get to know when these 10 holy days are going to occur, not just because they're days of obligation and you have to go to mass, but because they're days of opportunity. They're beautiful feast days in the Catholic Church. It's like a family birthday. They're days when the whole church can come together and celebrate important points in the liturgical calendar. 